So Bobby, what are the biggest opportunities and challenges for brain research? One of the things that we're interested in is to make a map of a brain that's never been made before. In your brain, there's probably a hundred billion brain cells called neurons, and they make connections with each other, a quadrillion connection. And one way to think about it is that it's 10 times or a hundred times more than there are stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And the only way you can fit a quadrillion of something in a volume this big is to make each of those things really small. So one of the real big challenges is to find microscopes that can image with enough resolution and speed and penetration so that we can map the entire brain. And then the second big challenge is once you do that, you've collected an enormous data set. If you can imagine all of the data that humans have ever collected in the history of the world. And that's all the video and the audio and all the paintings and everything any human has ever made. We think the map of a human brain would be maybe a thousand times more data than all the data that's ever been collected in the history of the world. Argonne has one of the world's best X-ray microscopes here at the Advanced Photon Source. As well as the X-ray machine, we're gonna have one of the best computers in the world up and running here at Argonne with Aurora. And I think that amount of data, you're gonna need that amount of compute power to be able to do the analysis. Yeah, and then once we have it, we have to do it again and again and again and again and again so that we can understand more general principles of frames. In neuroscience, the strong hypothesis is that that map of connections in your brain, which should be different than my brain, we think it contains all of the information about you. Every hope, every dream, every fear, every skill. And then finally, we think there are a lot of diseases that are associated with improper maps, like autism or autism spectrum disorder or schizophrenia. So that's why I think, Nicola, there are lots of interesting things to be discovered by making these kinds of maps. But something I'm curious about is I kind of understand what we would get at the end of it what do you think about how are we going to use your research and Argonne supercomputers to, to get there? So it seems to me from a computer science point of view with this amount of data and all those connections that we really need not only just the big computer, but new ways of analyzing this. And we're probably going to need to develop new tools and better computation to be able to handle those large graphs. Now, Aurora is going to have the compute capabilities and the storage, but it will take all of the world's fastest computer <laughs> computing for many, many days to be able to do this sort of analysis. Huh. Along with the new computer and new tools, we might be able to get a handle on some of these interesting neuroscience problems. I think there's probably no place on the planet that is as best suited as Argonne is to figure out how to make this map of the brain. Not only, as you said, do they have the world's best computers and world's best computer scientists, but we also have the Advanced Photon Source, which is right next to the computing facility. And the Advanced Photon Source is about to get upgraded, which will allow us to have new capabilities for imaging brains. And it helps us solve one of the big problems in even starting this work is how do we move the data from the microscope to the places where it's gonna get analyzed. If that takes a long time, then why did we take the data so fast in the first place? There are a few places, probably no places in the world, where that kind of microscopy is right next to that kind of computing, along with a whole bunch of scientists who know how to analyze that data. The whole exploring where we're gonna go with artificial intelligence to further our science, it's just a tremendously exciting time. I mean, I feel like we're part of a new revolution of science. Awesome. And so I think it's gonna be a game changer for things like analyzing massive amounts of brain imagery.